Awesomes, my name is Willie Clark here with your episode of 8-Bit Awesome, video games, tech, and everything awesome. I'm sure most of you don't know who I am. I'm an editor at a newspaper. I work on everything from music to video games to making sure that Lord of the Rings is properly represented in office stationery. It's an important job, but someone has to do it. We actually had a lot of cool, exciting news this week. Ooh. Ooh. Microsoft revealed their brand new console, the Xbox One, probably because they're hoping that you at least buy one and that it will be the only one console you buy and that you'll forget about a certain other one console, namely the PS4. Microsoft's approach to the conference was quite interesting. Instead of talking about games, which I think you normally should talk about when you're revealing a new video game console, Microsoft spent a lot of time talking about other things, like Kinect. No, not Kinects. Kinect! They're fancy, gesture, motion-based, fantasy, minority report type thing. Yeah, I wasn't super impressed either. They also touted some impressive numbers of rolling out over 300,000 new servers, which now means that there'll be a lot more servers for 12-year-old boys to call your mom or fat on. She isn't fat. Tell her I'm sorry. And in attempts to block pirates, arrrr, arrr, I don't have any pirate toys on my desk. Arrr, if the system technically doesn't really always have to be online, but pretty much always does have to kind of be online, but doesn't have to be online when it doesn't have to be online. Anyways, Microsoft failed to show off that many games, except a brand new fancy racing game, Pop Pop Goes to Forza. Steven Spielberg also made a brief videoed in appearance to talk about his work on the new Halo TV series, which is sure to keep a lot of people excited. Though I doubt it will be anywhere as good as Red vs. Blue. At least it can't be anything like E.T. You can A lot of people made fun of Sony during their conference for not showing us the physicality of the actual box. This is so weird. I feel like I have to over-animate. My hands have to do something. Microsoft showed us the box. It wasn't that pretty. They forgot to show the one, 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 the one most important thing that you probably should show off during a video game conference reveal. Video games. If I was someone in Japan watching this, I'd wonder if the only things that Americans cared about were fast racing cars and sports. Neither of which I really care about that much. No. No, I don't. Microsoft has assured gamers that things aren't really as bad as it sounds and that more games will be shown at E3, which is only a couple of weeks away. Microsoft wasn't the only ones with big news this week. Nintendo also had a direct conference, which lasted for about two hours if you include the hour and 45 minutes that President Iwata spent showing you on a globe exactly where Sochi was. It's in Russia. Sarah Palin can see it from her house. Nintendo did reveal a pretty big, gigantic partnership that they're working on, working on with Universal to create a brand new exclusive video game, The Lost World. It's a brand new Sonic game. Hopefully won't have him using swords, and hopefully won't have him turning into a werewolf. I'm personally just hoping by an appearance by Jeff Goldblum. It's The Lost World. I can't be the only one who likes dinosaurs here. Nintendo didn't really talk about a lot of things that people were hoping to hear about. For example, why it took so long for Pikmin 3 to finally come out. For those of you who don't know, I'm a big, big fan of the Pikmin franchise, and every day that the game doesn't come out, I cry. I'm going to try really hard not to do that on camera. On bright Nintendo news, I promised to talk to you guys a little bit about the brand new Nintendo 3DS game I've been playing this week, Animal Crossing New Leaf. For those of you who haven't played Animal Crossing, it's actually a really hard game to try to explain to people. You fish! I stole this from my cat. Pay all your bills! Make it rain! For some reason, when you add them all up and together into Animal Crossing, it becomes a game that completely destroys my soul. City Folk was a disappointment for some. I played that game a lot. But it comes out on June 9th. But I wanted to give a chance for you watchers to send in questions. Leave questions about the game in the comments down here. Keep your eyes up here, but type down there. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I kind of want to go back and play it right now. That's it for our very first episode of the 8 Bit Awesome Vlog. But I'll be back next week. Rocket Internets. <laughs> This wasn't recorded in 3D, so that probably does nothing for you guys.